Okay, so hello to everybody. Um, we're going to discuss social media today, and it's my pleasure to introduce the two leading doyens of social media. <laughs> so if, why don't you introduce yourself, Martha? Yeah, so I'm Dr. Martha Gawadi. I'm Chief of Cardiology at University of Arizona in Phoenix. And I'm Dr. Purvi Parvani. I'm an Assistant Professor of uh, Medicine Cardiology at Loma Linda University, Loma Linda, California. So why don't we start by asking you guys, how did you get into social media, Purvi? <laughs> So I was a cardiology fellow and um, I, I, I did imaging at UCSF and while I was doing imaging I uh, realized attending all the cardiology meetings that um, people were using social media and uh, you know it was, it was a good it was good for case discussions um, for uh, FIT especially fellows in training it was good mentoring so I decided to join it and as you know that's where yes. I met you guys yes. and uh, yeah it has been great since then. So social media is a really important part of every congress that we go to so how, how do you think that social media is evolving in these conferences yeah i i think that the one big thing is you used to go to meetings like this like yes. esc being so big 30 plus thousand people and i think i felt very lost i didn't know very many people and what social media has done is really made the world smaller for us we've met people you know in in our own countries but we've met people all over the world and the exchange of ideas, the exchange of, um, you know, not just science, because science is a big part of it, the cases is a big part of it to continue learning. But then the other part is, is you actually kind of feel like you know these people. Yes. And I mean, I think it's come true with the two of you. Yep. You are exactly your persona that I see online. Although I might point out that somebody <laughs> likes carrots and he says on social media he doesn't. That's not and, true. And he does eat yeah, them I too. Don't, I don't. I, I so don't. So moving swiftly onwards. Um, <laughs> so, Dr. Pawani, I mean, social media has not only been used to advocate conferences, but it's really changed the, our profession. I mean, there is a, a huge inequality, for example, within women in cardiology. You know, women are finding it increasingly difficult to get positions of leadership how do you think social media has helped that I think the biggest thing is that you find as a as early career now uh, for me um, I used to have few mentors and because of social media the world has become so small I have mentors not only in the United States but actually across the world and I think that actually uh, makes a huge difference because uh, women like Martha and men like you um, you know you're helping me um, you know to get where uh, I should be and yeah there are a lot of steps ahead but I think it definitely has made the world smaller and it would help women in cardiology succeed further from fellow to uh, attending level anywhere. So Martha, a while ago you published a really nice paper around uh, myocardial infarction in ladies and there was a whole Twitter journal club around that. I mean, do you see that the way going forwards in sort of dissemination of academic outputs? Well, I think the one thing, the journals are really focusing on the impact factor. And now the impact factor means more than how many people cited it. But there's these alt metrics that they are using that is basically the, what social media, where have people talked about your yeah. article. So I think the journals are interested in it, but it's also a great way in some ways, some people might say it's self-promotion, but it's sharing what you've worked on with other like-minded people. So the people that join you on Journal Club probably join us because they like the topic. And I think that that is, I've learned that that is a great way. I actually have learned, I think the journal clubs on, on Twitter are better and more interactive sometimes than the ones that I'll have in my own department. Yes. Because you have like the experts actually yeah. talking yes. about their papers sometimes, yeah. and they're online and they're they're yeah. tweeting back and forth. Where, where do you get yes. that one-on-one -on -one yes. interaction? Yep. And how about imaging? I mean, so you you do a lot of work with imaging, and yeah. you post a lot of great cases. So, how do you feel that in terms of you know education around imaging, yeah. social media has helped? Yeah. No. Um, so. 
I, I think it, it was started as, you know, I, I would get difficult cases during fellowship and I just wanted to get everyone's opinion. And from there, it has gone to this, uh, we have so many image libraries now. We have uh, mom moments of cases. Like if you if you go through uh, left atrial myxoma, there is moments where we have probably 100 cases of left atrial myxoma from all around the world. So I think, and, and every case, you know, every case is a different presentation, uh, a clinical presentation as well yes. as imaging presentation. So I think for education, especially for imaging, yes. it has changed our world at so many levels. Yeah. And how, how, do you, how do you see the future of social media then? I mean, we, we, I think we've gone quite far in the past few years. How do you see it changing? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. I think that... Um, you know, Twitter has made it far more interactive. I think in many ways better than Facebook and things like that, where it's more, Facebook, you're just putting something out and then seeing responses, whereas this is live. I mean, Twitter gen yes. generally tends to be live. I think that though the, the next step will be like actually being able to video and conference basically where people are all talking but people can join in and leave because there is something about seeing someone's face or seeing if yes. they're rolling your eyes or you know when you interact with British people sometimes yes. their sense of humor they say that we put in just kidding you know, like you don't have to explain that but it's you know a different sense of humor and I think it, it really makes us um, you know, connect better. So I think that that will probably be the next step. Yeah. And uh, the final question, do you say that there's a downside to social media in cardiology? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, you're exposing yourself to the world. I think that's the biggest downside. You have to be careful, you know, yes. uh, with what you post. You have to make sure you don't have any patient identifiers. There are, there are a lot of colleagues that have, uh, you know, poised their concerns that their patients follow them on Twitter. And sometimes, uh, I, I think the most important thing is keeping yes. Twitter a very professional space uh, probably helps. Great. Well, thank you, ladies, for joining me on a very enlightening social media conversation. So thank you from thank you two so leaders. Thank you for inviting. Yeah. Thank you.